wanna be your superhero, or even if I tumble fall. I am uh, 32 years old. Maybe it's time to stop chatting on my sidekick. Okay, here we go. Probably this, you know, I mean, big break in the sense of like, it, this has been the most life changing of, of, all the, of all the jobs that I've had. I mean, times 10, I mean, it's crazy what's going on. I mean, I've had some breaks that, you know, I was on a, did a TV show called Unhappily Ever After for years. And, you know, I did 100 episodes of the show, which was, which was great for me. You know, it came at a time where it was, for me, I, you, know, I, you know, it was great to have some security, you know, and, and a steady paycheck for five years, which is rare. For, you know, as an actor, so that was good. You know, good, good for me. But this has been uh, just a whole opened up a whole new, whole new world. I, I mean, I literally like to sleep on my day off. I mean, you know, I, I do. I try to sleep as late as I can, and then I like to get up and eat and go back to sleep for more, you know, and then watch The Sopranos. I mean, the, as far as I'm concerned, as much as much rest as I can get on my day off is is, is the most important thing. You know what? I, I've literally, I'm a sports center guy. I love to come home, sit on the couch, turn on the sports center, and don't not talk to anybody. I'd like to stare and vegetate and watch sports center and catch up on on all my sports. I mean, it's the greatest thing in the the whole world for me. Oh God, I love. Like I said I loved Family Ties. You know that was always that was that was just like the greatest. You know, it was my favorite show. And I love Three's Company. I loved you know the old some of the old school sitcoms. You know those these guys. I mean like. John Ritter and like uh, Michael J. Fox, these guys are just fantastic. So th those are my two favorite sitcoms growing up. You remember Underoos? Yeah. I went out on this audition for Underoos, and I get I get a call back, and I'm like, oh man, this is not good. I get a second call back, and you know, I was like, I literally, I might have even been Aquaman, which is the funniest thing. I'm not sure, but it was like one of the things where you actually had to wear the Underoos, and I, I intentionally tanked the audition because I just could not, I mean, I was in school, I was in, you know, I was in second grade. If I was in my, you know, on TV in my underwear in second grade, I would have never heard the end of it.